Understanding trigonometric ratios, C4. That's the communication question in our series. Fourth question. Explain why tan 90 degrees is undefined. Now we have taken examples here which will help you understand trigonometric ratios, their domain, their range, and how to apply them to solve different kinds of problems. Once you go through these few questions, maybe a nine or ten of them, Uh, you will get fairly good idea of how to apply trigonometric ratios and uh, you know their application in real life situation these are extremely important uh, ratios and they help you to solve many different type of problems now here is a question which says explain why tan 90 degrees is undefined now we can answer this in a couple of ways straightforward explanation could be like this we say well tan 90 degrees is equals to sine 90 degrees over cos 90 degrees correct you know tan is ratio of sine and cos correct so therefore it is sine 90 degrees over cos 90 degrees now what is sine 90 degrees sine 90 degrees is 1 and cos 90 degrees is zero. Anything divide, divided by zero is undefined, right? So it has got no meaning. Therefore, we say, well, this is undefined. So tan itself has a restriction that it cannot have an angle which can make the denominator zero, right? So in this case, cos 90 degrees, cos is zero for, for many angles, right? Which are multiples of which are 90 and it repeats after every 180 degrees correct so 90 270 and those angles will make cosine as zero and since you cannot define since you cannot divide by zero one over zero is undefined and therefore tan of 90 degrees is undefined so that's one way we can always answer this question And the way is going and looking into the basics, and that is what is tan itself, right? So let me draw an angle and show what tan is and how it varies. Let's say when we talk about angles, then we have an angle starting with the initial arm. Let's say that is our initial arm, right? So, so there, these are two rays, one going like this and the other one over it. Now let's say this opens up and this this second ray is called the terminal arm, right? As you know, let's say that is my terminal arm moving counterclockwise. When anything in angles moves counterclockwise, we consider those angles as positive. So let's consider the movement of this counterclockwise and let's say this is the angle theta. And as it moves counterclockwise, you will find that Let's say these are different situations, correct? That the ratio of opposite side to the adjacent side decreases or increases. What happens? Let's see. So let us say this situation where this is the opposite side. Let me say this is opposite and that is adjacent, right? Why am I using opposite and adjacent? Because we are talking tan. And let's say tan of theta, of this angle theta will be ratio of opposite side over adjacent side. Let's see how it varies as theta increases. When theta was zero, when theta was zero, at that time, opposite side was zero, right? So for theta equals to zero, we had tan theta equals to zero because opposite is zero. Zero over anything is valid and it's always equals to zero, correct? So when theta was zero degrees, tan theta was zero. Now what happens if theta increases? So we say as theta increases, right, what happens to tan theta? So we say, well, as it increases, let's say this is my second situation. Well, opposite side increases quite a bit, right? And the adjacent side decreases quite a bit. And therefore we say as theta increases, we find that tan theta increases right increases very at a very high rate 
since opposite side increases and adjacent decreases and you're dividing by adjacent which is decreasing so it increases at very very high rate now let's look into the situation when theta is very very close to 90 right so that means in this situation now if you consider this particular triangle then opposite side is that long and the adjacent is so small fraction right very very small number if you divide by very small numbers what do you expect you expect very large numbers and that is how tan theta is so as we approach 90 as we approach 90 adjacent side becomes very very small right and those small numbers are in your denominator so when you divide by small numbers you get a very very large number correct and at 90 degrees ultimately what happens so as theta approaches 90 degrees right adjacent side approaches 0 adjacent side approaches 0 and dividing by 0 leads to undefined number we sometimes say infinity very very large number which we really have no idea about right since we don't have any idea so large and we can't give it a value we say it is undefined and therefore tan of 90 degrees is undefined correct so that's another explanation and I hope you understand how with the variation of angle tan varies right what you can do is you can do the same exercise and try to understand by the variation of this angle how sine and cosine varies right and what maximum values they can take thank you